Coming off a 17-point loss against a highly skilled Dominican Republic team on Saturday night where they danced on Belize's home court, the home team rebounded on Sunday in the bronze medal game against Mexico, rallying from a three-point halftime deficit to end up winning by 15 with a slashing style of play. And they claimed a joyous victory at the end of regulation. As Belize has claimed the bronze medal here tonight with an impressive 87-72 win over Mexico. The final game was, we, we was really, it was a lot of pressure because mm -hmm. we know we had Belize on our back. Mm -hmm. And so we was trying just to stay up in and trying to stay mentally full. Said we won two and lost two, but it was the same for Mexico. Just oh. that, um, only for us, we were playing home, so we had like the crowd advantage, home court advantage. So, mm -hmm. like, and so we were just pushing ourselves and just keeping our mindsets up there and above them, and right. working, trying to do harder than them. This morning, the team and coaches crowded onto the sun upset, where they said it wasn't easy. I believe all of us are tired. I think it was one of the longest five days I've ever experienced. Um, but it was a great ride. Um, these boys did an excellent job and we qualified to the next tournament, something that has never happened in Belize before. Well, um, the experience before the tournament, um, it was kind of tiring because the workouts were very crazy. Um, we been, we was putting on like two sessions a day, maybe like four hours. But it paid off in a historic victory. It's historic, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it definitely is. Yeah. Regardless of male, female, junior, senior, Belize has never advanced beyond the stage that we just played. So going into Ooh, this okay. tournament means that you can call all the names of the Belize basketball legends and none of them have taken this country where these young men just did. Oh, wow. And so we want, we want the world and the country to understand what these young men just did was the first time that Belize has ever been to this stage. Um, when we go to the Champions of the Americas, it's now the world stage. What we played on today, um, this week, was the regional stage, regional, guys. We yep. were playing uh -huh. against the Caribbean and Central America, and now we're going to play against the world, the champions of the Americas, so it's South America, North America, and we are fortunate to be one of the countries representing our region. Um, so we're, we're looking at challenges like the USA, like Canada. Yeah. It's just it's a very exciting feeling knowing that I'm going to see these guys again next year, and we're going to go and compete at a, at a very high level, and it's, um, it's just it's an unexplainable feeling, you know? But before they get there, they can bask in this moment where their center, the six foot nine, sixteen year old Douglas Langford, was selected to the tournament all star team. You don't see it all the time, having a whole country come out, this all types real. of support systems. So for me it was new and it was all love. It was all positivity. So once we fed off that energy, we got the job done. Oh. How is that feeling like your your father there and all that? Because his father is just a giant. Um, <laughs> that feeling there. That the us. I love that. That the love, yeah. That that guy. In Belize City, family come together and support one goal, one dream. And to realize their next dream, this junior team will need senior support. <laughs> right? The, the disadvantage that we have are the resources. The ability to keep our guys trained, um, to give them the right nutrition, mm -hmm. right diet. And so, having seen what we accomplished, I mean, <laughs> beating Mexico, some people might think it's nothing. But you imagine a country who has over 100 million in population and all the resources available to them. Yes. And us having 500,000 people and defeating a giant like that in a region. It's a, it's a wonderful thing to see these kids yeah. do it. And um, now it's for the country to support us yeah. and, and assist us with the resources we need to keep these kids trained together. Yeah. Wonderful bunch of young men. I've been around basketball my whole life. Mm -hmm. And when we won that bronze medal, I was teary. I, I, couldn't, <laughs> I, yeah. I couldn't hold it back because what they accomplished is historic. And yes, they definitely. did it with all odds against them with the least resources that any of these teams had in this competition. Absolutely. And, and I think we have shown Belize what we have.